Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys really quick how you can install the Rust programming language if you're running Windows. And I'm going to show you how you install it and get it set up using two different IDEs, um, VS Code and IntelliJ. So first thing we're going to do is um, go to your browser and we're going to go to rustlang.org. And then up here, click install. And on Windows, you're going to download this exe here. I'm going to save that and run it. Windows doesn't like the publisher, but just go ahead and run it and you can just de uh, install it with the default. And that's downloading. So while that downloads, um, like I said, the uh, two IDEs I'm going to show you guys is VS Code and IntelliJ. So if you already got those installed, just um, wait for this to finish otherwise you can go ahead and download whichever one you prefer and I'll come back once this is done okay you can see that my uh, rest setups done installing so now we have to set the environment variable so just go over here and um, oops, select this section and right click it to copy it and I can get rid of that search bar um, oops, environment variables um, edit your path user variable new and just paste that in oh i've already had it in there before so i'm not going to bother saving that but hit ok exit out of that and just to make sure it's working i'll open up a terminal and i'm just going to make a new directory called um, rust i guess on my desktop and i'm inside the directory there and to use the rust um, project generator type in cargo new and just the name of your project so I'll just type hello world so that makes a new package for you and just to show you what it looks like um, so it just makes a new folder and inside there's a git ignore cargo.toml which is just like your settings and um, a source folder with a main.rs which is just a hello world application um, so just to check that Rust is working correctly, we can cd into that, into the source folder, and type rustc main.rs. So that's just going to compile our program. So over there you can see it generates an exe, and you can go ahead and just run that. And there it is, hello world. So yeah, clearly everything is working correctly, and now just to get it working on our IDEs. So I'll start with VS Code. Oops. So we can go ahead and open up. Um, actually, we'll, we'll install it first. So go to the um, extensions and search RLS and install that. Um, I have already installed it before, but yours will download um, a few things. It has a couple dependencies, but it should download them all automatically. Um, once that's done, we can go over here and um, add a folder to our workspace. And uh, uh, an easy trap to fall into is opening up um, like a general folder. So if I just opened up our Rust folder and added that, and you'd be like, oh, I'm going to go in here, go in my source folder, main and now see so you're getting these errors could not find cargo.toml um and the reason for that is because it has to be in the root folder in your workspace when really our cargo.toml is in our hello world folder um so you have to remove that and actually add the project folder itself so when we add that um we shouldn't get those errors there and we should be able to run it And there it is, hello world. And um, it doesn't always work that great. It's kind of laggy, but um, if everything is set up correctly, which it should be, um, it should have like the linting should be done. Yeah. So that's pretty much it to get it working um, on VS Code is just install that extension and then make sure that the cargo.toml is in your root folder, not just generally in your project or else it, it won't work. So I'll exit out of that. And for the other one I was going to show you is an idea editor. So it's IntelliJ. So open that up. This IntelliJ seems to work a lot better, a lot more reliably in VS Code. 
I don't know. Sometimes it's hit or miss. But um, yeah, so I can just open the project we are working on. Open up Rust. Close that. And we're just going to go to File up here, Settings, Plugins, Rust. And you're not going to have it installed, so search in repositories. And come down here, it'll say Rust Languages. Install that. It should be pretty quick. And just give it a restart. <clears throat> oh, there we go. And we can go over here into our source, um, our Rust file, and we should be able to run it once it loads. Um, and it will ask you to, um, so I made an effort to, um, see in this, in this case, I just opened up the general Rust folder instead of our, our hello world, which you have to do in VS Code. And I'll ask for your um, cargo.toml file. So you click attach. And you just have to select the file corresponding to the project you want to work on. So the Hello World one, which will be there. It'll um, set that up. You can see the little bar in the bottom there. <coughs> and once that's done, it should be good to go. So I should run it. And there it is. Hello World. So. For IntelliJ, it's super easy. Um, that's all you have to do is just make sure you set up the uh, cargo.toml file. And yeah, everything's going to be good. So um, I hope this video helps you guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.